Hey guys, Arlisha here. Welcome to another video. Today I want to give you a tour of my recently finished sketchbook. And before we get started, I just want to let you know I will leave links to all of the artists who contributed stickers or whose stickers I had for the sketchbook in the description. This is a Daler and Rowney graduate sketchbook in size A4, I believe. And mostly I just use this sketchbook for sketching out ideas for paintings. This is probably the only painted thing in this entire sketchbook, but what I will also do is I want to show you guys when the sketches in my sketchbooks have led to finished paintings. So anytime there's a sketch that then turned into a painting, I'm going to also put an image of that painting up on the screen because that's kind of what happens the most. This page of sketches was for my collab with Denise from In Liquid Color. And overall, this sketchbook has been a lot of fun for me. This was a sketch for a painting that I didn't actually finish, the one on the top left corner there. But the sketchbook is really good for sketching, and I enjoy it pretty well. It doesn't have a ton of pages, which I like because it felt like I was able to get through the sketchbook relatively quickly. I really like the size of it as well. And I know I've talked about this before, but I definitely don't usually put a ton of finished illustrations in my sketchbook. It's usually just a place for me to hash out ideas that I might have for a painting and kind of start to think more about what I want that to actually look like, and then I move into the painting itself. I'd really like to get back into using my sketchbook as a place to explore ideas as far as just playing around and kind of having fun and enjoying things as opposed to I already have this idea, I just need to go into my sketchbook real quick and see if it'll work. And it usually results in my not spending a ton of time in my sketchbooks. This one took me about two months to fill and it doesn't have very many pages. I think it's only like 28 sheets or something like that. I didn't spend a ton of time in it. Here are the sketches, the little thumbnails that I went through to create my sketch for Denise from In Liquid Color, and the finished painting that you're seeing here is hers. This is actually a page from a gouache piece on the, on the left that I didn't finish. But it was really fun and the right is from a recent video. This little sketch down in the corner I would really like to turn into a painting at some point. There are some ideas here that I really like and that does happen every once in a while. Sometimes I will sketch out the idea for a future piece and after I've sketched it out I realize that I either don't want to work on that painting right now or I don't like the concept and maybe it needs to be tweaked a bit more before I could actually turn it into a painting that I feel like would be something I would like more. <laughs> a lot of times my sketchbook pages are very scribbly. It's definitely not super aesthetic and it's just, you know, ideas of gesture or composition or things like that. I also have this thing where, for example, some of my sketchbook pages don't really have a ton on them. And I know there are a lot of people who like to fill their sketchbooks as much as they can and leave as little empty space as possible and use every available space to draw or to paint on. I admire that so very much, but for me personally, the mentality that I often come into is a page in a sketchbook is oftentimes representative of a particular mindset that I'm in. So if a page only has one sketch on it and that's it, it's usually because after I finished that tiny little sketch or big sketch or whatever it was, I was no longer in that mindset. I just, I just wasn't in that place anymore. So I tend to not put any more on those particular pages because I want the page to represent where I was at at that current time, as opposed to representing a couple different things, if that makes any sense at all. I just like to look back on a sketchbook page and look at the page as a whole and know where I was at in that time. 
So if a page does have more things on it, more sketches, more ideas, more words, then it just means that my brain was flowing a lot on that particular day or at that particular time, and I just had a lot going on that I wanted to put down, and a lot of things that were on my mind at once. As I get towards the end of sketchbooks, I usually realize that I only have a few pages left, so I usually will just sit down and do a super quick figure drawing session. I was actually pretty rusty here. I hadn't really done much figure drawing in a while, and I think it really shows, actually. Um, I need to definitely do more sessions like this. It's kind of a little bit strange to me that this very last sketch in a sketchbook is probably one of my favorite things in the sketchbook ever total in the whole thing. And I'm hoping to maybe transfer this sketch and turn it into some kind of painting and tweak it a bit so it doesn't remind me so much of some of my other favorite artists. But when you put something at the end of a sketchbook that you really like, it means that you actually don't get to look back on it anymore. Usually when I'm finished with a sketchbook, I put it away, like in a bin or on a shelf. And because I'm not going to be working in it anymore, it doesn't really come out. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little sketchbook tour, and I would love to hear what you think down in the comments and how you like to keep a sketchbook. Is it all finished pieces or is it sketchy sketches or, you know, let me know what you guys think. And I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.